Hello you fine people. Today I thought I would just show you how I approach mixing double bass um, with a cool little interesting plugin, this Maserati B72. Let me just stick my processing on beforehand. Uh, let's find an area where the bass just comes in, which is here. So the issues that I hear with this double bass is because it was recorded in a small booth, just based on the fact that most of this recording was done live. We had uh, we had flutes, we had saxophones, we had like a main vocal going on. There was a piano, there was a drum kit. There was all sorts of stuff going on. It was a pretty intense session. Um, so we we have this bass booth, which um, if I can get a photo of it, I'll put it up on the side of the screen now. Because of the the way that the booth reflects the sound, it's mostly soundproofed, but there are glass panels in it, which means that there is some reflection, which kind of takes away from um, the sound of the bass and makes it sound a little bit more distant, a little bit more boxy. Now, um, I've fought with this bass booth many, many times when it comes to um, mixing double bass. I find that I end up like hacking this kind of area around here, this 200 hertz, and I found it really difficult to make it sound forward and up front in, in your face. However, I decided to throw in this um, Maserati uh, B72 plugin, which is designed kind of for like synth bass or DI bass to help it kick forward a little bit more. And I found that the compressor on this actually helps bring everything really forward and kind of like up against your face. Um, and I like the kind of high-end boost that it adds here. I'm not really sure what uh, area this is boosting, though it seems to do a really good job. So I'm just going to go ahead and bypass this. Have a listen. So you can hear that it actually brings out a huge amount of the percussive elements of the of the player and the way that he hits the the string with his um, with his fingers. You hear a bit more of that percussive element, but it also takes away some of the nasaliness that the booth is adding, and it makes the low end a lot more round and a lot more consistent. So I'm just going to change the sensitivity so you can kind of get an idea of exactly what the compressor is doing. It seems to be adding a nice like pumping sound to it. You can hear there's kind of a slow attack and kind of like a medium release to it, where it really pushes forward the percussive elements. It makes it sound very slappy. And that low end boost is actually really nice. I mean, that's obviously too extreme, but the way that it work seems to be really nice. It just kind of adds a bit of a cream factor to it. Same again with the high end. It just, it just adds, adds so much in the right area that you want for double bass. It's fantastic. I mean, obviously up here it feels like everything's attacking your eye sockets, but if you can find a happy balance, which I found around about here, it actually just adds enough presence that it works really well. Um, so I'm just going to save that. You're obviously never going to use this synth. I thought i just hit it, see what it's like. Um, so over here, yeah, just add it because of the compression compressor, it adds a bit more low end, so I just wanted to control it a little bit more. And then um, I just added a little bit of a early reflection with this uh, H reverb, just all the way down to the early ref reflection, and just added, you know, no feedback, just a little bit of a delay to make sure that it wasn't getting in the way of the tonality of the bass, and there was a little bit of space of time after the slap that you actually hear the room, and obviously just uh, high passing that as well to make sure I'm not adding more mush in the bottom and here it is bit of 
say so. Now, how do I do this where I don't hit anything after it? There we go. And in the context of uh, the mix so far, there's no winds and no vocals in, in the mix currently. It's just early stages. I'll start working those in soon. we have it um a plugin that was not intended for this um i'm pretty sure it was intended for like more hip-hop style bass but hey man if it works it works <laughs> 